The Toronto real estate market is vibrant and fast moving. It has not suffered from the recent economic setbacks seen in other real estate markets and regions, and new projects are breaking ground on a weekly basis. This creates an excellent investment opportunity for Pace Global Advantage clients. This morning, we have the pleasure of speaking with Brad J. Lamb of Brad J. Lamb Realty. Brad J. Lamb Realty Incorporated is Toronto's number one condominium and loft broker, and they've sold over $3 billion worth of condos since 1988. They are the industry's most widely quoted experts with over 100 published and broadcasted interviews and are also the basis of the hit TV series Big City Broker on HGTV. Joining me now from the Brad J. Lamb offices in Toronto, Brad Lamb. Brad, tell us about Toronto's unique real estate market in comparison to other North American markets. Well, I think what's really unique about the Toronto real estate market is its stability. Uh, largely uh, from the stability of Canada, but Toronto is the engine that drives Canada's economy and as, as a result, uh, most of the transactions happen in our city. Uh, we've had the largest growth rate of condominium development in North America, and probably only some cities in China have done better over the last 10 years in terms of the number of units uh, built and sold. The nice thing about the Toronto market is it's not a market where prices rise by 20 uh, or 10% even a year. We have a nice steady growth period. So we don't have the problem of bubbles emerging, which uh, allows for people's money to be safe. Also what's nice is our purchase prices of real estate in Toronto are largely carried by the rents that they can, that they can acquire. How has Brad J. Lamb Realty done so well in this sector, even with the current market conditions? Well, I've been, um, I've been working in the condominium field for 21 years now, and uh, it wasn't always as it is today. And so I think based on uh, the fact that I've been doing it a long time and, and have worked hard to be a, a name brand in, in Toronto, Ontario, and Canada, and I've hired well, I've, I've managed to find um, some very excellent people to work for me and back me up. It's not about one person, it's about the team. So I think the fact that we have a great cohesive team, um, a decent leader, and, and longevity in the industry gives people confidence. What types of properties move faster than others in Toronto? Well, sp strictly speaking about the condominium market, um, the most popular properties are always the starter properties because there's more people with less money than people with more money. So typically we recommend people buy properties from about 350 square feet to about 750 square feet. And that would be the studio one bedroom, one bedroom and den, small two bedroom property. Brad, how many projects are in development these days? Uh, in Toronto today, there are literally hundreds of properties in development. Um, we had a tough period from late 2008 to, I'm going to say, about March 2009. And since then, the market's taken off again like no place in the world. Um, and this spring, spring 2010, we're going to see a resurgence of the same kind of numbers of projects being made available as in the peak of the market, which is uh, mid-2007. How does Brad J. Lamb choose which projects to involve themselves into and which ones to avoid? Well, having been in the industry for a long time, I, I have my, my pick of the better projects. Uh, we don't need to take projects that I, I don't personally want to get behind. And of course, um, nine years ago, I started my own development company. So um, I am a client of myself, so to speak. Uh, in many cases. So we work with outside developers still to a large extent and we also work with Lamb Development Corp which is my real estate development company. What opportunities should investors look for in the Toronto real estate market over the next 12 to 18 months? Well again strictly speaking about the condominium market the GTA, the Greater Toronto uh, area is a large uh, landmass, and we like to focus on the downtown core. And in that downtown core, we like to focus on developments, uh, in developments in areas that are changing um, and, and uh, gentrifying. And so we recommend the smaller apartments, again, because uh, more people want to buy them. So if you want to sell them, they're easy to sell. Also, the rents per square foot are higher for the smaller apartments. So we like the smaller apartments in highly styled, modern developments in the south part, uh, southeast and southwest part of Toronto. That's where the best bang for the buck is right now in our city. Brad, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much.
That was Brad J. Lamb of Brad J. Lamb Realty. Be sure to visit us at paceglobaladvantage.com for more opportunities and for information that can benefit you and your business.